Hello! Today I'm going to talk about a very special day that's just around the corner, and that's Valentine's Day. Uh, those of us at the credit union, we were sort of chit-chatting about some really nice gifts that we can give, and rather than a dozen red roses, um, a few of us thought, wouldn't it be very cool to receive a dozen roses made out of bills? And so I thought, wow, I'm gonna check this out and see if we could do this. So of course I Googled it and there are thousands of ways to make roses out of bills. But I found one uh, instruction on WikiHow that was super easy and super fast. And I thought that is exactly what I want. Now you're gonna need a few things uh, before you start. So you'll need to go to like Michael's or a store, a hobby store to get some of these things. First of all, you're going to need these stems. Um, they're cloth stems, they're uh, green, and they usually come about a dozen in a pack. One of the things that you have to remember is that you'll need a minimum of four per rose, which means you don't wanna just buy a pack, which I did. Um, and I had to go back, you have to buy 48. If you're gonna do a dozen roses with four, um, four bills per rose, you're gonna need 48 of these, so make sure you buy enough. The other thing you're gonna need is stem tape. This is what's gonna keep the rose um, parts together. And then you will need some glue, you will need scissors, and you can buy a little stem of um, leaves to decorate the rose with. And um, again, you can get this at a place like Michael's. And most importantly, you're gonna need dollar bills. Now, it's up to you what you want to use. You can use one dollar bills, which is what I'm using. Um, and then of course you can go higher, five, tens, twenties, hundreds, depending on uh, the kind of gift you wanna give. So, um, what I've chosen is to go ahead and do four per rose, four bills per rose. Uh, WikiHow and some other instructions said you can go up to seven, which makes it a lot more fluffier, but you can get away with four and it's a nice looking rose. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the bud of the rose. What you need to do is you need to take the bill and fold it in half and then you take the corner of the bill and you roll it like this. It's kind of tough at the beginning, but once you've done a few of them, it gets a lot easier. And what I found is if you roll it back and forth like this a couple of times, it helps keep the shape. Then you take it on the other side, the other corner, and you roll it the opposite direction like this. And again, you just roll it back and forth, back and forth. So what you have are the rolls on the opposite direction like this. Then you take your stem and you slip it in between the bill right here. And then you just leave a little bit out like this and you just bend it and it feels kind of weird doing it first like you're gonna rip the bill but if you're gentle you won't then you take this part and you just twist it so that it stays and this ends up being your bud the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to make the petals and so you take another bill and you fold it so that there's a little triangle right here and you fold it nicely, just like this. And then what you're going to do is fold all four corners in the same direction, similar to what you did with the bud. So again, you roll it and you do this one and you roll it and then you do this one, same direction facing you and you roll it and you take this one and you roll it. Very, very simple. And again, I roll it back and forth so it kind of keeps its shape like this. And that is gonna be your petal. You take your stem, same thing, you slip it in between the, the fold and then you're gonna bend it and you're gonna twist. Alrighty. 
And there is your petal. I made three more. So you've got three petals and you have your bud. You take your bud and then you just place the petals, the bud within the petals like this. And then you take another petal and you place it like this. And you take the other one and you place it like this. And there you've got the start of your rose. And then you kind of twist it so that it stays together. And then what you do is you take your tape and you start from the top and you wrap the tape around so that it all stays together. And then you just kind of bring the tape, stretch the tape over. You'll need about you know 10 to 12 inches of tape. And you just wrap it all the way around and you just bring it down so it covers as much of the stem as you can with 10 to 12 inches. You don't necessarily have to go to the very, very bottom unless you want to cover the whole thing. But that's about what happens. And what I did, it says to use a glue gun, um, but not everybody has a glue gun. So I just took a glue stick and just touched it a little bit here so it'll stay and then wrapped it around. And you could do the same thing for the top if you want. Then I took a piece of one of the leaves from the stem, um, artificial stem that I purchased, and I just place the leaf here and I take another piece of tape about an inch and then I just wrap, wrap it around so that it stays. Hopefully it'll stay. Let's see here. Just like this. And again, you might want to take some glue to help it stay. And voila, you have a nice little rose. Okay, so now that um, we've created our rose, what we want to do is make sure that we display it nicely. Uh, what I did was I made another 11 roses. It took me about an hour and a half to do this. And along with this, I um, bought some cellophane, white ribbon, I had an extra vase at home, but you might want to buy a vase. And then uh, also some marbles, and you can buy those at Michael's as well. And the marbles help to keep everything in place, all the flowers in place where you want them. And in the back, I've got a couple of plastic ferns, fake fern, and um, this gives it a little more of a floral touch. So you take your rose that we just made, and we stick it in a location that we think it'll look good. And there you go. And you can play with it uh, and bend the roses so that it looks like a really pretty display. And then once you got it, you give it to that one special person and I'm sure they'll love it. Happy Valentine's Day.